but I've had a couple of questions about lighting. Because this kind of light here, that we have here, that I have, that I love to point to, um, this whole setup here runs about $300. And if you're interested in this, and I don't make any money on this, it's just, it's on my website, I don't know what they're called, but if you go under my website, stephanbauman.com, and you go under the instructional section and the supplies, uh, there is the make and model in the company that you can order it from. Um, you do need the light and stamp, but the whole thing runs about $300. And for a lot of people, they're like, Ugh, no, I can't do that. So another option, is these, these cheap old sh they don't shitty, the that you have. no they don't. No, I, I have that in uh, Okay, so these things, the problem is, is that when you stick them on, but this is what a lot of people have. But the thing that this is, is that the, the light tends to okay. fall on this. Okay, so one thing that I recommend doing is, one of my students came up with this and I thought, wow, how ingenious that is. So what you do is you buy two of these. And then what you do is these unscrew. See how that unscrews? And so what you do is you go and get yourself um, duct tape, the silver aluminum duct tape. And you, get, you take the other one apart. You take this, this hood off and you duct tape it to the front of this. So I know it's, it's kind of like for years I've always wondered, Wow, why don't they make something like this? But if you end up looking at this, now I have two horns. Now, this gets really hot in here, so you want to make sure that you have the right kind of tape, otherwise you'll have a fire. Um, so warning to everybody, if your burn, house burns down, I'm not responsible. Um, also, you don't want to put it in a two light, but see you get that nice little hole and you can get a little spotlight. Um, there's actually a photography company, which is again, the same company that sells these easels, these, um, these lights, mm -hmm. and you can look it up on my website. And that's, they sell this. And this is like photographer's, yes. photographer's foil. Mm -hmm. And so this is a brand new one. At a photography store, or if you go to my website, okay. stephanbauman.com, and it, this is not listed, but the same company that sells these sells all the photographic okay. stuff. And what this is, is photographer's foil. And it's, it's black, so you don't get reflections from it. And you can actually, you can actually use this to make a foil cup by going around this. And so you can fold and shape. Now this is where the artisticness comes. I should have had one done for you. But you can artistically put this in here and fold it. And I thought one of my students came in with this and I thought, wow, where do they start? And she ended up getting it for my birthday. But, huh? She got it from the same company that has these. But you can end up shaping this into a cone till you can get the kind of light that you actually want. So this kind of ball, this might be too much yeah. of a point. But this, you can actually start pushing around to make the kind of hole you want. Huh? No, no, well, th this is made for this. So these are usually made for like halogen lamps. Mm -hmm. And so you can actually fold this around and you can eventually get this point. So it's, it's very flexible and you can eventually get it into a nice little hole. And that might be a good way to, to control the lighting. Because really it's about the lighting on your subject. You know, so. I can't make this little desk light that um, you know has a flexible mm -hmm. head, and the little lamp part is about this, a little bit bigger, possibly than around the size of this. Mm -hmm. It's ten bucks. There you go. Well, that's and that works too. You don't need anything 
that's really too fancy. I mean, this is 300 bucks. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. The problem is with the desk like the desk like is that you can't raise it up higher and shine down. You could put it on something and shine it down, but that's why it's always good to have the stand. And even this, you almost have to have some kind of tripod or stand to attach it to. One of the issues with these, though, is that they have a tendency to slide. And if somebody could come up with, here's another million dollar plan, uh, or you probably could, could figure it out, um, if you could get sandpaper to hold it. Now I know that there are, there are um, some of those boxes that we buy, the collapsible boxes, and they attach these lights to them. And they've actually put a, the strip that you buy when you are stepping up on steps, oh. chair, and they put that on the edge and that will grip this so it doesn't slide after a period of time. You could buy that kind of tape and if you could put that on the object that it's held to and then clamp it on like a tripod or something, that will give you a lot more options. So anyway, I just thought that that was kind of cool. So that gives you two other options to deal with when you're trying to deal with the light. Yeah? Are you selling those lights? I don't sell them. They're just on my website. No, I. No, no. They'll tell you where to buy them. I had some of them, and I think I bought them at, at uh, the orchard or someplace like that. These? Yeah. What? These kind of lights? Yeah. These? Yeah, these are the regular ones that you buy at a hardware store. Yeah, all hardware stores have this. I mean, this is a standard kind of clamp on light. This kind of light here, you'll have to order from New York from a company. I don't even know, it's like B&H or H&B well, photography. It's not on your website? It's on the website. If you go to stephanbauman.com under supplies, there's information there. And you can get that information and put it in Google and order it yourself. Um, and then they'll send you a big fat catalog of all that stuff and then you can buy the, the foil from there too. Yeah. So, Sam, yeah. Oh, if you have the model number of that light, you could probably go into any camera store and they can order it for you. Um, so, any questions about the light? Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, I really thought this was so clever. I just thought, what a what an ingenious idea! You just buy another one, flap it, and it gives you a nice little pinhole. Um, okay.